I am Cat Wits. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share what I have been doing for the month of August. I'm going to share my layouts in my Moleskin Daily Planner. Every month I've been keeping up on this and you all seem to like it. So I'm going to continue on sharing. I also got a new folio um, cover. So you're going to watch the switch between the one I'm using now and the, the new one. So I will be sharing that. And depending on the time, I will also share the traveler's notebooks that I've been using in the month of August and how I am using them. Again, another popular video everyone likes to know and hear about. And it just helps inspire you all because I know a ton of us sit here with our books and we're like, what do we do with them? Okay, so hopefully this can give you a lot of ideas on what you can do. Hopefully it can spark some inspiration and then you can just start doing it yourself. Um, please remember, you don't need the tools that I have, the books that I have. You, you don't need any of that to do whatever I'm doing. So I, I did want to share that disclaimer. I'm not saying what I'm doing. You better go out there and get the same thing. It's the only way to do it. All right. We all know better than that. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in. I'm going to put you right in the middle. All right. So what I have been using up until... Uh, I think the last week of July, we're just going to say August. I was keeping my moleskin in what, if we'll just give an example. I was keeping my moleskin in pocket plus size um, traveler's notebooks. So these are, this is a Chic Sparrow and this is a Morlin. This is what I call my Morlin secret because it was in dedication of my sweet kitty I, I lost. So um, this is the Pocket Plus one, and what this one is, so it's a regular Travelers Notebook, again, Chic Sparrow. It has six elastics on the inside instead of four. Now, there is a huge difference between the Pocket size and then the Pocket Plus. So, if, you're, if you have a Pocket in your hand and you're thinking, what's a couple more elastics going to do? It's... How's that going to be any any difference? Yeah, there, there's a huge difference on um, the width of the spine. All right, so this way, and then how long it is this way. Okay, so yeah, a huge difference. It kind of reminds me of an A6, to be honest. But the Pocket Plus compared to an A6, so you you get yeah you get the idea. Okay. So that's what I was using. I had my pocket um, moleskin daily and my pocket weekly. Always had them together. Whenever I posted them, they were both together. They were both typically the same size. Up until I hit the six month mark and this thing is really, really, really blowing up. So now I have to keep him by itself because he's such a chunky monkey. Okay, so um, Jennifer said go ahead and put it in a folio a folio would be best because it doesn't have inserts so these strings all right it doesn't have strings it's literally just a pocket over here on the left and a pocket over here on the right because what was happening was whenever i put my little book here on the string the stress of it the bigger that it got not only was the spine blowing up but the strings were pulling into the book. I had I wasn't really paying attention, and I should have, but I wasn't really paying attention that that was happening. So she saved my book just in time. So she sent me this, what this one right here in particular. This is the Wave Point. I've shared it quite a few different times. In the sun, out in nature. So you got like a natural look instead of this my phone going crazy here but it has this is a wave point denali and it is beautiful just look at the texture on that it is a pull-up texture which means wherever there's stress so you can see there's a stress right here on the spine it will turn like have a patina color so look you see that and uh, you can rub it out sometimes, but so yeah, I love that pull up. I love that effect. There's some beautiful, 
just texture on this. It really looks, it looks like it can be taken out on a beading. You can't really like scratch it really hard because obviously the texture is there. So you won't have to worry about like moving it around, sliding it across the table. You know, you don't have to worry about that with this texture. Taking it out in um, nature, like I had it out in nature. I never worried about putting it on a rock or placing it on a tree and then picking it up that I was going to mark it because it's really it's going to hold perfectly um i do like to put a piece of like plastic this is just some sticker a cover cover to a sticker pack um you can i always use acetate acetate i always use that um i use this right here because it is a pull up so whatever texture so if it, she had pockets you would see the texture of the pockets through here whatever is pushing up on the cover it will form like that so I don't know if you could tell but I have a lot of 3d stickers on here so all those 3d stickers will show on the cover so I have this for protection and it will not happen you can't see no kind of bumps no nothing because that's being protected all right so I think before I show you the inside we're gonna go ahead and move into the new cover so let me go ahead pull this out This right here, I don't know if I gave the size, but it's the Pocket Daily. It's the perfect fit for the Pocket Moleskin Planner. So your daily, your weekly, it's literally the perfect size. Okay? So we're going to move out of that. And this is the new one. Let me make sure I'm not going to share any information here. All right. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. So this one right here, this is the Bella. This is the Bella Folio. Oh, and I've had a lot of sisters. Go ahead, Layla, or Lilith. I had a lot of sisters email me and message me asking me about this leather. I haven't had it in my collection. The only Bella item I had was a pin holder. And you can't really judge a leather by a little piece of, um, you know, leather. So I couldn't really answer the questions. So looking at it, you can tell a huge difference. There is no texture. It is buttery smooth. So it's kind of like the Austin, but I say even more softer. Austin has a waxy kind of a feel to it. This, this kind of has like, I don't want to say rubbery because it, it doesn't, but I don't know another, another name. Just listen to it. And it's leather, like real leather. That is beautiful. Now I am assuming it will scratch up. I don't want to scratch it because it's like brand new. It's kind of taken a good, you kind of rub it out. So it kind of does scratch, but you can kind of rub it out a little bit. I really don't want to scratch you right now. I know everyone wants to see that, but I don't want to do it. I just got it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when, when I get it, once I take it out for about. But it is a pull-up leather. So you can see that. So it will show patina. This is going to have to be gorgeous when it's when it patinas. This is Lilith. Lilith never, ever, ever, ever comes over here. Hey, Missy, let's not see your booty. Let's see your beautiful face. Oh, yeah, just just make make room for yourself, you know. You're the star of the show. What are you doing, Lilith? Huh? What are you doing, Lilith? Okay, so pocket, beautiful, daily. Oh, so soft. I, I trying to now I'm trying to remember all the questions that people have. Ask me the questions and I'll go ahead. I do. I gotta take this baby. I gotta take this. I'm sorry. I'll give you another one. Here. You can lay on the Moreland secret. There we go. There you go. You can lay on that one. Okay. So we don't have any strings. The only thing we have to do is if it you do have an elastic, just tuck it over the cover slide it in 
Now, I typically like to break in any pockets or any sleeves like this. Let me get. Because there's always glue and stuff. So you just rub where the stitching is. And it loosens up that glue. It loosens up the stitching a bit. And it makes it easier to slide in whatever book or insert you're going to put in there. I'll do it to both sides. And it really, really makes a difference. It's just loosening it up the, the leather. Where did my book go? Okay, here's my book. So we slide in the back cover. Now, when I first got the first folio, I was just sliding in the back cover and leaving it like this. I figured, use this as a pocket, put in some posty notes, um, a list, you know, whatever whatever I wanted in here extra. Um, but whenever I did that, I found that my book would slide out. I was always trying to push it back into the cover. So... You can do that if you don't mind fighting it, but I do recommend. Let me go ahead and put this because it is a pull up leather. I don't want my imprints, a little hearts, <laughs> all over my cover, even though that would be cute. Man, this smells so good. It is so soft. Wow, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay, and then we just tuck this in. And it slides in like butter. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, man. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Well done, Chic Sparrow. Another, just, they keep blowing my mind with their covers, you all. This is no joke of a book. And it just fits it perfectly. Wow, it's so soft. I you, you don't want to put it down. I do not want to lay it down here. Now, I know everyone's going to compare. I want to use that one, but she's on it. Okay, so this is another Austin. Let me take my butterfly. Right here. Not my butterfly, my bee. So, this scratches very, very, very easily. This did not happen for me pushing it up and down. I actually dropped my TN. I was late at night walking up the stairs and it just fell out of the pile because I'm a dummy and I have a pile of books and Bibles and everything that I take up. This guy was right on top and he fell. So when he fell, he the little legs and everything really shoved itself in here. So normal use up and down on it, it does not happen. This was literally just jammed and you know, it was it was an accident. But some of these, some of these light ones, you can tell the difference between the big, big, deep one and then there's two deep ones right here and right here. Those were because I was, it was actually accident damage. But these light ones, it's just, that's part of the Austin line. It scratches up. It's just part of the TN's journey. Now, it already came with a ton of itty bitty scratches. Like, you could tell all over it. Like, it's just... That's what this leather does. That's why I love it so much. The stress of being used and open and closed. And it's an absolute beautiful leather. But what I was showing you. Looking at it in a picture. I would say like okay yeah. These, these are the most two comparable leathers. But side by side. They're not. They're completely different. This has a shiny like you can look in the, in the video, this has a shiny effect. This is completely matte, but they're, oh, I don't even know. <laughs> if I wasn't already speechless, that's, that's exactly what I would say. Like I, I'm speechless. What do, how do I compare these two? Like they're beautiful in their own way. The thickness of it. Okay, the thickness is compatible to the Austin line. They, they are about the same thickness. So you could say it's glossy and soft feeling. Not soft feeling. Man, 
I can't, I'll have to come back. Once I spend time with it, I'll be, I'll be able to give you better definitions and stuff. But it's just, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Super, super gorgeous. Okay, so now that I switched over the cover. Oh, these do not come with a pin loop. So that's, that's the only downfall with um, these the folios. There you go. The folios. There, there's no pin loop. You can easily tuck a pin in right here, but I don't want to put more stress on the string, so I'll just carry. Um, I do have a pin bag that uh, has an elastic that I can slide over the traveler's notebook. You can keep pins like that, or you can tuck it in the inside. So you, can, there's ways of carrying a pin with you. So just because it doesn't have one attached to the book, doesn't mean there's not other ways of doing it. Okay. So, without further ado, let's go on in and share what I've been doing for the month of August. July, 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 August. All right. So, this is the first layout. Not one of my favorites, but if you've been watching any of the flip throughs throughout here, you will know I've been trying to use up stickers from my collection. Um, any other planner, I really struggled doing that. I always wanted to save my favorite stickers, my favorite ephemera. I never wanted to use it. This year, I'm trying to transform out of bad habits, that being one of them, and just using my products, using my pins, using my supplies. So that's what I'm doing. Even though I don't like every page, it's still something that I can look back and I'm, I'm okay with. Um, so, yeah, this is, this has the wrong, wrong, um, coffee house. Yeah, that's it. Wrong, wrong. And no, 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 no. Wrong, wrong. And coffee house. <laughs> wrong, wrong. And the washi tape shop. You'll see a lot of their stuff here. Washi tape shop. This is a new, new stickers that have been, not stickers, they do look like stickers. Everyone calls them stickers. I slipped up sometimes. But these are washi tapes. Now these washi tapes, I explained in another video, they're PET tapes. So they're PET tapes. Um, go check out that video so you can learn more about that. I'm not going to repeat myself. But these are from London Gifties. So check her out. A lot of beautiful things over there. If you're looking at the top of my book and you see transform on the top that is my word of the year that's something that I want to apply to my life every single day I have a lot of these icon stickers sometimes I want to draw my own um, I need to do that more often because that's something else I want to do I want to get back into drawing I am trying to get back into what I like to do I need to get back to being me, to being having fun, just do, doing things that make me happy instead of just having to settle every day on, got to get the things done. I got ABC to get done. I got to get ABC done and that's it. Like there's other things I want to do and I just, I got to do them. <laughs> I got to find time to do them. Again, washi tape shop, happy planner stickers and London gifties. This is when I got um, the gal, the beautiful, beautiful, if you haven't checked out this video, make sure you go check it out. So this is a beautiful leather folio, you all. Ooh, we, oh, so beautiful, smells beautiful, the feel of it, absolutely gorgeous. And the inside, you all, just a quick peek, but this is the day that I got it. So I like to keep this as like a little bit of a memorabilia, but not really. Look. Look how adorable! Totally moved into it and I am loving it. Okay. So moving on through, we got the wrong wrong stickers. A couple of sticker packs. I forget the name of it, but they were at Michael's. London Gifties, wrong wrong. Um this kind of worked out perfectly because I pre-decorate all of my pages and I just fill it in. So I had this random box here that I was using from a sticker pack from the dollar store. 
and it was just a, a plain box. I was going to put a quote there, but we went out to eat, so I cut out the card, and, and I put that there, and I was like, oh, it looked like it was meant to be like that. So I love it when things come together like that. London Gifties. This, when I first seen it, it looked like a boat. Does that look like a boat to you? But it's not. It's a traveler's notebook in a bag, like a pin bag. It's just the zipper. But I thought it was a boat when I first seen it. And then I was like, oh, no, it's not. It's a traveler's notebook inside of it. I just love these traveler's notebooks. This looks like a little sketchbook. The little pins. I mean, super adorable. Um, went to the flea market here. And we went hiking, took a bunch of pictures. If you all follow me on IG or Facebook, you're seeing a ton of those pictures. I still have a lot more, but just sharing them randomly. Uh, rich stickers. I think these are the wrong, wrong stickers. Yeah, I do believe so. This is where we're at right now. I got my Rose Gold Humble Lamb Bible yesterday, so I wrote that down here. I got, I just got my Bella folio today so I'm going to write that down here look at this how beautiful oh let me get up close so you can see the detail work again London gifties you all and it has like a foil effect so when you turn it like man Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then a little wrong, wrong girl at the bottom with her stickers. So I do like mixing up stickers, but when I mix up different brands, different stickers, I try to keep to a theme or color theme. So like at the very first one that you've seen, it was a coffee. So not that one. Like right here, this is like a coffee scene. There are multiple different brands in here, but it has like a, a coffee feel. Love this one. It has like a um, vintage, you know, cozy journal look. Love it. And you can tell I am really growing and getting into my style. Like I would be inspired by this. And then I build the colors off, off of here from random sticker packs. So these are Happy Planner sticker packs that I would never have used before because I just don't like using kits or, yeah, I'm just not a kit person. I, I don't like doing that. But I like matching colors together. So hopefully that made sense. So there's washi tape, London Gifty washi tape, Happy Planner stickers. London Gifty and London Gifty. And wow, again, coffee theme with Washi Tape Shop and London Gifty. And then this is September, September 1st. I have a big day coming up on September and I have an idea on how I want to decorate it, but because it's such a fun day, I don't know if I'll wait till after that and then decorate it like that evening. So I, I, I don't know yet. But oh man, this feels gorgeous. If you all, if anyone, anyone ever wanted the Bella, I highly, highly recommend getting it because you're just, you can't be disappointed. Okay, the only way you can be disappointed with Bella is if you're someone who don't like smooth. If you're someone who wants texture, obviously not the cover for you. But if you like multiple, like, hey, one texture, okay, the next week, no texture, even, but you know, multiple different kinds of traveler's notebook in your collection can match up perfectly with different moods, different seasons, different books, have a different style. Like this book will look different all depending on the cover I put it, you know, over it. So I, I love, love that. And Chic Sparrow has the the best quality that I've, I've ever seen. I really, really, really love their, and that's why you see Chic Sparrow, Chic Sparrow, Chic Sparrow, because I just love their covers. The color options, the different um, textures that come with it. Okay, so that Moreland Secret that Lilith is now sleeping on, 
it is holding my prayers. I've shared that prayer book 101 times. It's Karen, Karen Moore, I do believe. So I'll write down my prayers in the actual, this book says secret on it. And my sweet sister, Vicki Evans, sent it to me um, in memory of secret. So I put it in my uh, more than secret. That's a pocket plus. This is an A5 or no, this is an A6. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is an A6. This is a sample size leather. You can't purchase this leather. I got it in a mystery box. Um, but with this one, I am doing my daily devotionals. And I don't like putting it on the strings because I want to write out the daily devotionals. So I don't want to take it off and put it on and take it off and put it on. So my book is on the strings but I, I don't want to have to just keep stressing out the string but putting it off and on so it literally just does fine being housed here and then taped up here or not taped up but wrapped up here it doesn't fall out like it, it's it's sturdy quality string like it, it's really really good so that's what I do with that one I've shared my Huckleberry quite a few different times I did change the string to where it's a white string matching um, the stitching, but my devotional, any devotionals that are real powerful out of this one, I will write them down in that one. This has been my everyday carry since receiving it. Love this little guy. There's just something so special about this little guy. It came with a ton of marks and I loved how well, um, well used and loved that it is. It's patinaed so beautifully. This is a pocket buttered rum. So it's from the Austin line. We all know how I love the Austin line. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing in this little guy, it has the pockets I'm not a big fan of because I don't know how to decorate them. So it has the heritage pockets or some like to say the deluxe pockets that you know come on the sideways. Um, I like the cascading pockets because I can decorate them a little bit better, but this is the best that I can do. I love this little kitty here. So I just, I put little leaves on the side and there's nothing over here in the back. Oh, I was about to say, at least I don't think there is. Um, this is a pocket dashboard from Chic Sparrow. So make sure you check out the accessories. They have extra string. They have fill no books um, and dashboards. So decorated this dashboard with London Gifty have a nice blue theme coming on here Vicki actually sent me so funny after I had this blue theme she sent me this gorgeous high-end looking purse I will be sharing it but it has it's this same blue so it's funny how that worked out I feel notes this fill notes it's kind of gonna be like a catch-all but when I'm out and about like I went out to a flea market and a lady had some beautiful artwork so I wanted to remember her name so I can look her up just I'll keep little random things like that but this is a prayer over my journey so my journey for the day my journey over what's going to be happening in this book um, London Gifty they sent a lot of beautiful little tip-ins the what the presentation that London Gifty did that was amazing I don't know if it's first time customer that gets that or if it's all of her orders but that was beautiful so she sent that she sent a couple of wa extra like sample washies from other samples so that was pretty cool I've shared these um, a few little extra stickers memorizing in here and then I'm also keeping journal prompts so whenever I want to write out something and I'm like oh what do I write write about I can come here and then look through whatever prompts here so I, I may be doing that some more. This journal I have been writing in daily. So right after I plan, so I'm trying to keep a bullet system. I'm trying just to do bullet points. Um, what I received, what I ordered, little snippets of what happened, like went to uh, a restaurant like Vercreros. But I don't want to write out a full detailed report I'll put the full detailed report over here 
So I'm not writing the same thing, but I'm just, because it's so tiny. They're both pocket size, you all. <laughs> That's why I love it, because I don't have a lot of time. If I get a big A5 book, I'm going to look at that page on how huge it is, and I'm not going to write in it at all, at all. I will not do it. But when I have a tiny little book like this, I can be like, okay, I can write down one, one or two things, and then one or two things sometimes, that's all I can do. Um, maybe I could just fill out a page, and other days I can write out a whole lot more. These are verses to read, you know, when, so when I need assurance, when I need comfort, come to these verses. Started out my, my actual journey. So this is where I really, really, really get to be creative. Um, very beginning i always struggle at the beginning because i want to be creative but i just want to write you'll start to see how i my um i'm not going to keep long because this is a lot of personal stuff but you start to see my style begins to grow like right here there's my style i'm starting to build i'm starting to be more creative this is when we went to the flea market i'm using up things in my stash Not a real big fan of that page, but hey, it is what it is. I need to add a quote here. Never did. Not a fan of these. I tried out a new pen. Oh, and I was so mad because it just kept skipping and skipping. And I'm like, ah, don't like it. So I went back to my normal pen. <laughs> um, this is when I got the Galen leather. or the, Yeah, the Galen leather and the washi tape. So I kept both of those things. Wrote about it here. Love these butterflies, you all. I do it all the time in my Bibles, but I'm not doing it in my planners and other places, and, and i got to be doing it. This is the day, so August 17th is when this accident happened. So when my bee fell, and I was so upset because it scratched, and I, I wrote about it. Of course, I had to put some bees down here, but that's the day that it happened. This is something that I always go to. Me and my kids, like anytime anything ever happens, I comfort. Comfort is tea. And then this is where I'm at today. So I will be planning some more. So I don't know if you notice at the top. I'm having journal journal entry and I'm keeping track of the journal, like entry date. So this is 13 days. I'm keeping tra track of the weather and then the date, but I am now keeping track of the time too. So I have the journal entry, so this is 21, the time that I did it, what was going on, the weather, and then the date. So I think five years from now, that would be pretty cool to look at. So that's what I'm doing in my everyday carry. So every single day when I'm out and about, I will have this little guy with me because he's typically in my wallet too. I'm just not going to share that part. Um, I have this on my desk because I don't always keep my planner with me. But if I need my planner, this is the duel that I will take. But I also have the March hair. And my March hair is care keeping my scripture writing. This is a commonplace book. I'm not going to go through all of that, but this is um, my scripture writing. So this is August, and I match August up with the washi tape. So it's that painted looking washi tape. I come back here. I have a book marker, so I know exactly where I need to go to, but there's the little painted, so I, I know where I need to come through. So this is all for August. All right, so this is my scripture writing plan. I love that. And this is a pocket March hair. This was gifted to me from Gwen. The same lady gifted me this one too and a few others. Um, and my A5, so I gotta go quickly here. And my A, A6, and my A6, 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 wave point. Um, oh, so sequato sequate oh what is this i know what this one is a five 
it, it's slipping me. It's 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 a different name. Not an A5, an A6 anyways. Okay, so I, I've shared this a ton of times. You all probably are screaming at the screen because you already know what this one is. Oh, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm doing here is I found these. So my sweet sister sent me a the tiny, tiny, here they are here. I got one of them in my Nano and I used that for doodling. But she sent me this. And she found it at her shop, like one of her local shops or whatever, and they fit perfect in the Nano. I went to Walmart to get a sketchbook because I want to start sketching, like I said. They had these right next to it, and these are grid lined. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. I wish they had more sizes, but this was the only size. It's an A5 size. So I decorated the front of it. What I'm doing in this one is I will write out a verse and I will write out the application to that verse. So I am using my application study Bible so throughout this whole thing, that's all I'm doing. And it changes, I change the highlight color. These are what the mile liners. I use cursive writing for the verse and then I print out because I need to practice on my printing. I got my cursive writing looking good, but my printing is horrible. So I got to work on that. That's what I'm doing. So I love having applications, learning applications, just reminding myself, keep up with applications. So that's what this is this is going to be for. Just another way of using up my books. As you can tell I have one, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven travelers notebooks you all that I use not on a daily, on a, every single day, I am using my prayers, so the Moreland Secret, my everyday journal, my planner. I use my scripture writing, which is the March hair that you see, and I use the application. And then I use this one. So all of the ones previous to this one have been Chic Sparrow. Oh yeah, and, and my daily devotional, so my samples, sample one. So those are every single day, prayer, devotional, journal, planner, um, and then this one here. So that's five, five to six traveler's notebooks every single day. That's what I use all at different times. I don't sit down with all of them. They're all at different times, devotional, prayer, morning time, because that's how I need to get started my day. Nighttime planning, that's after the day. I can recap on what had happened. Um, both good bad and I can plan out the next day. So that's for the evening this one right here um, This is a planner perfect a sweet sister sent me a Narrow size so this is a narrow size fell in love 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 with this book Where's the book? There's a prayer because how I'm using this one. There's a prayer book. It's like prayer it gives you prayers about changing. So if you're angry, prayers over changing how you're angry. If you're um, full of fear and doubt, it's just prayers over that. I've shared it again once before. So normally I keep it here, but it's not here. So real quick, that's what that's what I'm doing in my narrow. I have a lot of narrow inserts thanks to my spiritual mama. She has loaded me up with a ton of narrow inserts. So I'm definitely glad she did that because now I, I have I have a use for them. I know what I'm going to do for them. Typically, I, this is not my size. I don't, the lines are too skinny and I like writing a lot. Sounds funny because I write in a tiny pocket moleskin, right? So it's just, just the way my, my brain sees the pages. So that's what I'm doing in my narrow. This is a planner perfect. Plan a perfect TN, and the same thing with this one. This is just a personal size. Oh, I think you want to see those side by side. So we got the narrow and the planner perfect. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. So a, a, a narrow and a personal size. There we go. There we go. Oh, we said planner perfect. Okay. So what I am doing with the personal. I'm glad that was close because that was very private information. 
decorated the pockets one big medium pocket and then a tiny little pocket and then a little sleeve over here on the side so I keep my pencil board over here um, for inserts and then a pad back here that I keep my grocery list on so real quick love decorating pages like this it looks like a little book marker I am writing out stronghold verses so with the Beth Moore now I don't got to scream. My AC can always tell when my AC goes off because I find myself screaming afterwards. Um, but I, I cannot go without my AC. It's so hot here. But so anyways, Beth Moore Stronghold. She has a ton of powerful verses and that's what I'm doing throughout the whole thing here. I'm writing out those verses. It's a way for me to use my decorations. And these are really easy. They look like just something hard to do, but they're not. They're super easy to do. If you guys want a how-to, how to add these little pages to your to your inserts, books, planners, you can do it and whatever. Let me know. I'll, I'll do a process video. And then that's the next one. Haven't touched these other ones. These are all um, her... The... Designed by Plano Perfect Inserts. My spirit to mama sent them all to me. So this is a lined one. So they fit in there. So that's what I'm doing with that. Last but not least, my Galen Folio. So this big boy, this is an A5, finally. I was calling all the A6s A5. I wanted to use this one as my sketchbook so I'm going to take this out to the woods and I want to sketch different trees and do all that good stuff but I can't find a perfect sketchbook size to fit in here so for right now I'm using this book it looks like it was made for it so I'm going to keep it in here um, it has a lot of beautiful pages so this is going to be my um, commonplace book for whatever books I read, whatever verses that's going to pop out to me while I'm reading. Maybe I want to come in here and do something similar. This is a gratitude page. So maybe I want to do something similar like I'm doing with my A5 or my A6 over there. Where I want to write out a verse, study it, um, maybe break it down into following other references. Or just write down the application for that verse. So... Who knows? I, I don't know exactly how I'm going to use it, but there's a ton of information that I have daily going through my head and I'm always thinking about it. Maybe there's a quote. Maybe there's something I heard on a podcast and I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. I want to write it down. So this is the book I'm going to use. So I don't know. I can't fully say how I'm using this book yet. I can only express how I have previously used it. All right. And I know a ton of you may be looking where to get this. Find them on Amazon. Galen Leather is where you get this amazing folio for him. So love it, love it. I have a full review over it. Um, I got this cute little teddy bear. I got this teddy bear for um, Layla, but she didn't like it. So I, I took it from her. He's just going to be housed here. My stickers for, or my tweezers for my stickers. Um... There's a big pocket, as you can tell, has a bunch of goodies over here. I love this postcard. I got it from a, one of the vintage shops. And it's actually a postcard. It has a stamp on it and everything. So, love that. Just for inspiration, I have it kept in here, housed in here. Um, it's really important, you all, to always have inspirational things with you. Anything that makes you start thinking about what to write, thinking about what to doodle, draw, just... When, you're, when you feel happy and when you will start turning with something, keep it with you. Keep it in your planner, in your journal, whatever you want to do. Just keep it with you. This is one of a, my prayer wooden, wooden cross was sent to me from one of my sweet sisters. Always have to have chapstick. Mr. Penn sent a ton of new products, you all. That will be the next video to come up, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. I do have a couple items here. These are all brand new. So I'll share more in that video, but this is just a sleeve. You can keep your pins with you. 
You can keep this in another traveler's notebook if you don't want to take this big one. So you can just take your little sleeve of what, two, 